All right, it is 631 right now. And the new credit card laws are already in effect, but companies are exploring new ways to charge you more. Aren't they always, though? Oh, sure. That's what, what they, they do? do. Yeah, they're always hearing the ching. Joining us more uh, this morning in studio to talk more about this and rewards and what you should do to be careful is our money and time saving expert Denise Winston, as always on Thursday. Welcome. Good morning. Well, you know, 80% of households have a credit card. Of course. Yes. And paying with plastic has really become a part of our day to day financial lives, and we mm -hmm. do it every day. So the credit card companies are, you know, trying to make sure that we're enticed into with temptation of rewards. Right. Well, it's no longer a reward if at the end of the month you don't have enough money to actually pay it off and you're paying 29% interest versus mm. paying getting a 5% reward, mm. uh, right? Yeah. So number one, you wanna make sure you know what credit cards you have in your wallet, okay. and you want to know the rewards and you wanna know the fine print. You can go to creditcards.com and actually review cards and look for the best option that's, that, that's out there. Okay. okay. But if you charge all month long, I have a tip for you because you wanna make sure again that you don't go into debt and you want to make sure that you have enough money at the end of the month. Okay. Treat your check register uh -huh. um, just as normal, but every time you make a charge, you want to write it in a red ink. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're going to treat it just like a debit charge Checks or an ATM. Checks in black ink, credit in red. Exactly. Okay. At the end of the month, you should have everything you need. If all of your accounting is done correctly, right. you should have enough money to pay the bill off at the end of the month entirely and not be charged any interest not go into debt, mm -hmm. not be tempted, Instead you would actually, guessing. exactly, right. you should be making money on the proposition and that's what we want to do. We have to be educated consumers right now and credit card companies really do want us to get, you know, they want to have the temptation to overcharge sure. so that you pay the interest at the end of the month. So is there a good way of trying to figure out where you should charge or maybe where you shouldn't to try and take advantage of some of those well, rewards? Well, creditcards.com is out there. And if okay. you'll notice in the mail right now, people, are, the credit card companies are sending lots of information. Sign up this month for groceries. Mm -hmm. Next month is travel. Uh -huh. And if you have multiple cards, it can be very confusion. so confusing. So the thing that you can do is you can actually take your credit card and you can actually write in a, a permanent marker uh -huh. as to what the rewards are for that particular card okay. and when it expires. Oh, okay. Got it. The more cards you have, though, the more tempting it is to charge sure. right. and to go into debt. And it can be confusing and you can miss payment dates. So try and pare it down, use the most strategic ones, and, you know, enjoy the savings. The one with the fixed low rate. That's the one <laughs> I and like. And pay it off every month. <laughs> yep. No grace, you know, you got to have a grace period and you right. got to have no annual fee. Yep. Best cards out there. Very good. Can you leave that card? Uh, no. Oh. No. All right. Well, It'd be well, dangerous in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Denise. Denise Winston.